Mamma Mia! Dom, I didn't know she was your mother. We look exactly alike! -a. Yes, I can fully see that now. Well, and now she's a prisoner! Mamma Mia should not have burnt my pizzeria. You must pay! -a. I've already paid! With my burnt down pizzeria! I want to fight to you! Fight me? Dom, most of the time, People don't even see your arms! I have arms! Uh. So what? Like a boxing match? Yes! Sir. You a winner! You a get the my pizzeria! And what if you win? I uh, will never be uh, in another intro uh, again! Uh. 800 likes on the video to see Dom V moves in next week's episode. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Moops, and welcome back! The NASCAR 15 season! I am good and damn well happy that we are getting the hell out of Charlotte! Or Charlotte, as I have been referring to it. We can also refer to it as nothing good for me! Let's do a quick breakdown of what went down in that Coke 600. I had a magnetic field wall pop off of T-Rex's back bumper. We had a big one going off into one. I wrecked Mikey Walnuts twice. Then I had to make a pit stop about midway. After I made my pit stop, when I was a lap down, Lala decided to exit pit road in a very interesting fashion. His pit exit, or lack thereof, wrecked a good number of people and brought out the yellow, which trapped me a lap down because then I decided to pit and I did not take the wave around. The rest of the night was spent trying to get my lap back, which I was able to do past the Danica who was leading. I could have wrecked her, brought out the yellow, and got myself back into the race, but I had a conscience and I tried to be a good person and I drove around her real cleanly, and I hoped for a yellow flag. That yellow flag never came out, though, so I just puttered around the rest of the race in about 38th position, and that is where I finished. Oh, and by the way, the Danica wasn't even able to hang on to the lead. That's why I didn't wreck her, because I wanted to see if she could actually pull up her first career win, but now, now, now she got passed by Old Man Bushy right at the end. We still have the points lead. As far as I can tell, we have it over Jemai. But I don't know, there could be another guy or gal out here that has more points than Jemai. I just haven't found him yet. It looks like it's going in correct order until you reach fifth. And then you look at sixth and you're like, well, what the fuck happened here? We'll just scroll through and see where everybody sits at in the moment. It's Carl's Jr., last guy in on the playoffs, but I cannot confirm that. Got some guys way back here. None, none of them. The data could have definitely could have used that win right there. But we got guys with some wins. Cyber Fever trying to get back at the top 30 so that win counts. After today, we're halfway through the regular season. So it's like, okay, you gotta win, but you gotta get yourself in a good, good position in order to use that win because it's not that far off when the chase will begin. I'm talking to you, Mikey Walnuts. These guys need an intervention from Christ in order to get back into this thing. My paint scheme for the day! Created by Murph Turd 2. Link to his channel down in the description. I'm in a little bit of a mood today. I'm in a little bit of a funk. YouTube's been acting up and acting like a goddamn fool with some of the stuff that they've been having to deal with today. I want to try not to let that leech into the driving that I have to do. I got 60 laps. I got to probably come from four in the back because we can never qualify worth a damn. I'm going to have a lot of people to pass. And Dover, yeah, at some point to the new technique song, it's been a little, eh, fucking weird. What do you say we find out just how weird it is? Let's get this video started. Get comfortable. I hope you're sitting in some sort of posturepedic, and I am going to race for y'all now. Let's get the video started. Let's go! By the way, gas can water, get one! I'm taking on water over here like the Lusitania! How you doing, bitch? I should really work to get him off the track. If I... He better stay down on the apron, because I ain't dealing with another talent age. That's what you get for your magnetic force field of bullshit last week. Welcome to the Monster Mile in Dover, Delaware, for Fox Sports coverage of the FedEx 400 benefiting autism speeds. With Darrell Waltrip, I'm Mike Joy. Mike, they call this place the Concrete Canyon. They call it Miles the Monster. They got a big statue out front of old Miles. You know why he's out there? Because he will reach out and grab you, baby. This place is tough. It's concrete. It's a tough race. Daryl, you run the bottom of the corner. It's a long way to that hard wall up top. Yeah, and, and the straightaways, we call this a self-cleaning racetrack. 
because the straightaways are banked a lot too. If you get in trouble, down the hill you go into that inside retaining wall. A tough place to survive for 400 miles. There he is. He should be out of the way unless they're green flag pit stops. Oh, God. Hey, buggity, buggity. Let's go racing, boys and girls. Thank you, Daryl. I didn't understand what Daryl's obsession with concrete was there in that introduction. I am glad to report that I wrecked the guy in qualifying for once, and for once, it's not going to cause any issues, at least, um, at least for now. We'll see when we make pit stops. We're on our way at Dover! Whoa! Whoa! Big time loose coming up out of that corner. This is my first time racing Dover in the NASCAR 15. I have not driven here once before. So I didn't really know what the hell I was getting into. Yeah, you just sit down there, you little bastard. That's what you get for screwing with me last week. I should make it my mission. Every single time someone crosses me in the main event the following week, it qualifies, I DNF their ass and they're not allowed to race. It's kind of sick and disturbing how much power I wield just with my steering wheel. Like, I could decide who I want to do well in points, who I don't want to do well in points at all, who decides to brake check me and who I'm gonna fuck up because of it. Don't understand why, when you get on this straightaway, you look to go slower than you otherwise were. Decided the hell with the pits. It seems like everything worked out okay. With him being parked down there on the apron, I'm a little, you know what? I'm a little bit afraid to make a yellow flag pit stop. I keep hitting that button to shift and it's, I don't know what's going on. I can't see anything. I keep hitting the wrong button to shift. How long have I been doing this? But I don't know if I should be making any caution flag pit stops. It could be the talent. Oh my God! It was a wall pop. No yellow. Lost some of the field. We got DNF. This all started because. Oh damn! Why? Woo! Darn! We lost double A batteries. And I think we. I think it was Dingle Dingle. There's so much going on right now. Darn! Got pitched up into the wall by the booth, and that made it wall pop. But then he like corrected it. And he went back up into traffic out of such severe anger for the booth. He completely forgot about the other people he was fucking. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm not making any caution flag pit stops. All my pit stops are going to be under green. Because that is too much of a risk. What are they? They never, they never fixed that. That has been a glitch at Dover here for a while now. That outside lane, you restarted that outside lane. You might as well just go home because you ain't winning. Oh, man. Yeah, well, that all started with Carl's Jr. Because I got into his back bumper. I just keep getting into people's back bumper. That seems to be the theme of the day. And I just lost so much track position. Hell, watch it here, right and real. Booming! Stop looking that close underneath me. Holy crap. Four wide for a split second there. Oh, man, it, uh, coming out of these corners, I all of a sudden get super, super tight, and I'm having to slam on the brakes. That's killing my good, good speed. It hasn't even been a quarter of the race yet. Look all that's happened. Do I have brake bias? Do I? I can't. God, I, why are they going to put that button so close to the other button? There's no brake bias in it, so finally they decided to listen to me in the garage. Not sure why it's... So pushy at times, coming up out of the corner. See, Harry, it just takes off. Takes off. No control. Almost looks like there's a car pitting every time going by. But it's just T-Rex taking a snooze. Oh, yeah! It might be time to pit. Don't want to pit. Don't want to pit at all because of T-Rex, but the handling is so not right coming out of these corners. I got to work on it. This feels like such a horrible mistake. Oh, man, if I end up with another Talladega, and I am sitting here in this spot for another 45 minutes waiting to crawl Grady Pace my way onto the pits to get sucked onto the pits just so I can get some new freaking tires and so I can fix that right front suspension damage so I can adjust the tire pressure and the wedge and all that nonsense. If I got to wait 45 minutes, 
I'm gonna get my crochet kit. I'm gonna nip myself a blanket. Please, no. Please, please, no. Please. No. Oh, dear. Can I exit? Can I please? Not again. Not again. I cannot do this again. There is no way I can do this again. I don't want to make a blanket. I have plenty of blankets. Let me through. Let us through. Somehow, someone, come on. Come on, you know, come on. You know you can do it, Darby. You've been, you've been busy today. Find a way. Just pull those through, people. You're not afraid of damaging some bitches. There's no way. I knew it was a mistake. I didn't know what I was getting into because I hadn't seen how the AI were dealing with him sitting there. There's got to be a way that you guys can get back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this again! I won't! I won't! You can't take me back to prison! A lot more motion going on. But I'm not seeing a clear path for myself. I don't, I don't know where we're going. William Clyde is a man of action, though. He's on the move. As long as everybody continues to move, even if it's inches, just some smidges of what's going on over there with Whitney Spears and Jeff Gordon Ramsay. I don't know what they're doing on the track. Too busy rubbernecking. Look at that. What's going on over here? It's a big bunch of shit, guys! Things are getting quiet. It's like when the Titanic sank and everybody was out there floating on the beach chairs and the doors. And after a while, because everybody became ice cubes, it started to get really quiet. I don't see much motion anymore! What's gonna happen there? Oh my god! The base car just got jacked! The base car's bump drafting Cole Wade! I gotta go and inspect this. This is too freaking good! Wait a second, that's not Cole Wade! It's Jimmy! What are you doing, Jimmy? I don't like how the pace car bump draft is slowly becoming a main fixture on the channel. I'm glad Jemai was able to get back going again. It looked like, you know what that was? That was Jeff Gordon Ramsay trying to push Jemai. It was like William Clyde and Jemai at Watkins Glen in 2018. It was such a bad idea coming onto pit road. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done it. Why did I do it? Not really. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! I'm not understanding why some people just aren't going. So many people have just a clean path. Look at that, 33, go! Clean path to pit road. He it will not be waiting. <laughs> He's still pushing up. You go, Jemai! He's saving tremendous amounts of fuel right now. Feels like there's a lot more going on, for sure. For sure, compared to the Talladegs, we were like at a standstill at a few points for a while. Everyone continues to move along a little bit, a little, little bit, a little bit here and there. So I get the feeling it's not going to be as long of a wait. My problem is going to be this. <laughs> Jimba, he's got the freaking tires smoking. Where'd everybody else go, though? Where's the rest of the field? That every, everyone else that was behind the base car, what happened to them? My problem is going to lie that I am sitting directly behind the 78. <laughs> Come on, better than I haven't seen the damn pace car in about five minutes. I think they're probably stuck over there in turns one and two somewhere. This track isn't that big. Hey! Hey! Where's Jimmy? I need to go in search of the rest of the field. Oh! Okay, well, that explains it. Jemai is turned sideways, so obviously the pace car dumped him. Then you got a little Elton John sideways action. You've got Jeff Gordon Ramsay bump drafting David Ragu. Why the decision all to just park it? Are we under red flag conditions? If that seven could just break free, that might open up. It might... The dam might break! I have absolutely no clue what the Boof is even doing! Alright, Boof, I like this! You've opened up a path! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! We got us another one! I present to you all the very first double pace car bump draft! Look at this band of jerk-offs all trying to make it down the pits that starts right there! Can we just do this? I'm... I'm really... I'm quite tired of it. I've... Re I've had enough.
I want to just continue about the race. We still have another 45 laps. That's a, that's a pretty decent amount of laps. I would like to make my pit stop. I would like to get new tires, make some adjustments. Is it just me? Nah, you really gotta stare at it. It feels like the 78 is moving. He's supposed to be asleep. Now what just happened alongside of us? Which am I? I think they're all running out of fuel. I think they all want to make pit stops. I've been at this for about 20 minutes now, and we've kind of run out of progress. Oh, yeah. Ah! Candy Cane finally released. God almighty. Now we got some wreck redneck Jesus and Kmart action in the back. They're trying to bump draft up the banking. Yes! Thank you! I mean, I don't really know if that helps us, Eddie. It can't hurt us. Getting that all cleared up? There. Damn! Why couldn't you do that to me? Maybe the others will come around and pop us like that, too. Look at the... No, that, that's hamster just driving through everybody now. Now, the pace car's bumped, drafted, bushy. Look what the boof has done. He's completely pushed five guys 100 feet backwards. What is going on with that right front wheel? Could use another candy cane coming along and just... Smacking us in the ass, giving us a nice little jolt, waking us up, using the defibrillator on us. This is about everybody. Pace car's burning rubber back there, right the hell through Kmart's driver's side door. Hey, say, hey, Whitney Spears got away. But now I got this incredibly annoying engine sound effect to listen to. Now being pushed out to the track, was it, was, that's not really where I want to be. Oh, oh, what, what just happened? What? Yes! This game will not defeat me! How long was that? That was a half an hour! As I told you at the talent eggs, never give up on your dreams! Ah! The sound of log nuts being tightened! That is music to my ears! <laughs> eight people! Eight of them! are nowhere to be found. We, we are, are back. This 78 car though, I was thinking about this as I was parked there for a half an hour. What if he's too close to the racing groove and they start throwing cautions for him? Seems like we're okay. We're back green. Did I seriously, seriously just wade through all that crap again? And look at that. Next person behind me is 38th. I'm in 35th. I have no clue. Wow! That's a lot of people. I have no clue what is going on. Like, who's left? Who got removed? I almost just blew my motor. No, no, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That would mean I'd have to make a pit stop. To fix my engine? There's no way you're getting me back down there! I'm gonna have to ride around with a broke-ass engine until I'm ready to make my green flag stop because I am not doing that again. Well, this just got a hell of a lot more interesting. And what is Bushy doing on that outside lane? Keeping up pretty okay. Don't like that I'm in the middle. Oh, no! This race is the spawn of Satan! Uh, ha, 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 ha. I, I can't really take much of a hit. Because if I take another hit to the front end, I'm going to DNF, the engine's going to explode, and I'm not going to be racing anymore. Who the hell got all taken out of this? How did we... I mean, I know we lost double-A batteries with Darb. We also lost Dingle Dingle. But where the heck did everyone else go? Eight cars! That's a lot of cars to just disappear! No, no! Yeah, way to ride out of that one is damn right. Jemai, how you doing? You were busy during that red flag. I am really glad that I took some tape Ooh! off of the grill. Just get a little bit of more air in there so it doesn't blow up any more than it already is. Pretty surprised how well we're keeping up. We're running an 11. Car feels pretty good. It's not as fast as it should be, but it feels all right. Handling is there. When, <laughs> when are we going to be able to make that pit stop to fix it up? It's got to be under green. Caution flags would absolutely kill us because they'll all be making pit stops and we won't be able to. I need this to go green for a while. Are you kidding me? Oh my, oh my God! 
I was too busy looking behind me at what was going on. It was the big one. Bush, Bush, man. Bushy came up in to my, my left quarter panel. Holy crap. What is this tonight? I can't. I just, I can't. I can't make a pit stop. I don't want to. I won't. Ah! Welcome to Michael Booms' mid-range support presented by Gas Can Water. I am so defeated. It's been a long first half. If I'm forced to have to make another pit stop under caution, and I'm forced to sit there for another half an hour before I can get service, I'm going to need to go in for some therapy. I refuse. There's no way in hell you're getting me back down that pit road in this second half to make another pit stop under yellow flag conditions. I will gladly take my chances with green flag stop. Only about 12 of us stayed out on that caution. The rest all pitted. Would think that they all would pit again, everybody. So maybe we're still all right. But can you ever truly be all right when you got a guy blocking the pit road like he's some kind of goal? I'm not even going to sit here and try to pontificate what the second half of this race is going to be. You're just gonna have to sit there on your futon and find out. This has been Michael Booth's Pit Racer Park. <laughs> Presented by Gasket Water. Did you guys happen to notice that I'm like battling for the lead with an engine that's missing half of its parts? Yeah, I just took the lead. Uh-huh. How the hell far can we go on fuel and tires? We've made it about 20 laps since our one pit stop. Can everybody else make it to the end? We got some guys hitting pit road. Everyone that just came in with the bushy, bushy spin, can they make it? Kind of feels like they might be able to. You gotta be kidding me. This is not what I need. What now? Absolutely what? With these spears. There's like actual AI caused yellows today. Yeah, I like it, but not today. Uh, it's screwing me out. today. 20 laps. What do I do? What do I do here? Wow. Absolutely no giddy up in our go-go on that initial start. Pathetically slow. We're gonna have to run them back down. Maybe, can I just like stretch my tires and fuel them to the end? Pretty sure that Vix Vapor Rob and Jeff Gordon Ramsey came in on the bushy spin out caution. So they got much fresher tires than I do. Hence why I am having an incredibly difficult time passing this guy. Finally, clear all clear. I, uh, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to stop again. What's the point in even staying out longer? All it is is costing me. I'm losing time that I could be making up the ground. We gotta do it. There's. No, I'm just. I'm not gonna make it. The tires are not gonna make it the rest of the way. Now would be a great time for someone to fuck up. There we go. One lap down. Probably gonna be at least two. Here come the leaders. I saw them back there. Two laps down. We will be. We need to get one lap back before the caution. Next caution falls. Which this could be a tall task because I have to pass literally everyone. Hey, it's a position. We could also go and run down Rogate Smith. That'll be another position. There are some cars peeling off and making pit stops. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. Oh dear God. Where does one go? in amongst this to get some good, good speed. Slow two car, look out. Oh, fuck. Maybe this is a benefit. Some good, good in disguise. Just kind of got like, I got in the cans and that washed me up the track. Got it at a 25. Can I get the wave around, please? Blair gets the wave around. Two. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this game is so fucked up. It gave me both my laps back. There is not a rule in the NASCAR rule book where you can get both of your laps. Oh, damn. Got my hopes up for nothing. Well, that sucks. I was really excited there for a second. Why do we... We got smoke. Little bit of smoke. But it's all clear now. Vix Vapor up to the lead. 
Oh my god! It is so hard to turn the car here! Just get into the throttle and it carried me right up into him! Wasn't able to get another freebie from NASCAR. So I'm having to cheat riding around down around the apron on a restart. Get some extra spots. Not sure what the free pass position would be if we could get one more yellow. It would have to be soon though, because they're on like their last couple laps. Yellow? That would have been, I, I'm in the free pass spot, but they took the white flag, so it doesn't matter. Do you see this? Like no wonder we had a whole shit gaggle of issues today. They're four wide. I'm just, I'm sending it to hell with it. I know I'm not getting any of these friggin' spots, but screw it. What the hell do I care? Fuck them. Oh man, just get me to the lot. Let's get out of here. It's quite amazing that I was lapped as many times as I was by the pace car when we were sitting on the apron with the whole yellow flag pit stop. But like that didn't even count. I ended up getting two laps down because I couldn't make a pit stop because I refused to because of all that. It's just kind of weird how the circle of life works. Wow, we got some DNF's blanket, AA batteries, the Danica. Apparently this was all on that big one. Gilligan, Chef Boyardee, and Dingle Dingle. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. I know the 78 ain't out there, but Who else is missing? We did lead some laps, so there's like a bonus point or half a bonus point, whatever. I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Jeff Gordon Ramsay with the fastest lap. Congratulations. And the winner is Vix Vapor Rub, who was denied a victory at Texas. So you know what? Good for him. How the fuck you came back after getting bump drafted by the freaking pace car? <laughs> Couple of not so very good good runs has allowed Jemai to creep his squirrely ass back up to my back bumper. Only 48 points out now. That is like, I think 47 is what you can make up in one race. Let's scroll through here, see where everybody is sitting. Vix Vapor Rub bumps up a bunch with their victory. And well, here the heck is everybody else. I see Blanket after his DNF drops a bit. Race did not help out Mikey Walnuts, neither Sidebird Fever. And the rest of them. We're missing a guy because the 78 isn't out here because he done blowed up. That still doesn't explain to me who else was missing? You guys are detectives. Who else was missing in the rundown of that race? God, so help me. It's just, it's one thing or another every single week with this NASCAR 15 season. It's fitting because, you know, this is our final game to play through when it comes to the Eutechnic Saga. So I might as well go out with a bag. I'm done. Thank you for watching. It's just bad news whenever you wreck a guy in qualifying. You just, you really should start over. But for whatever the reason, some dumb reason, I choose not to. I'm finished. I love every single last one of you. Thank you for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed Pocono, huh? All right. Another track I haven't done NASCAR 15 at, so I don't really know what I'm getting into. So typically when, it, when, when that's been the case, it, the, the shit just doesn't go well for me. I guess we'll see you next week. I'm out. See you in the next video. Goodbye!